Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for a very long video. I'm going to show you 159 pens and no writing samples. I don't know how long this will take, so be prepared for that. Today, after many requests from viewers, I was not thinking about doing this video, but I had several requests. I'm showing you my Caveco Sport collection and these are some nice big kind of coins with Caveco logos. So this is what I'm going to show you today. So I'm showing you the 159 different Caveco sports that I have in my collection and I that's that. First of all I want to show you the case. I, some people ask me where do I uh, put all my Caveco collection and I put them in these kind of fake leather cases and they are like these. They are... Uh, these are some fake leather made in China. They are not expensive and I bought them several years ago on eBay and each one takes 96 pens. And so, let's start with the first. Actually, this one is the last one. I will start from the end to the beginning because I think it will be nicer. So, this case is like this. It has a flap that protects the pens from scratching each other. Here I have some pens, pencils and ballpoint pens, pencils, fountain pens and also rollerball and these are duplicates but here we start with the collection so I have this black uh, piece of cardboard where I write in white the name of the pens to be easier to to show them to you and let's see if I will be able to manage to show you all these in the video and my lights and so on I don't think this will be that easy. I'm struggling here with room for that, but we'll see. So, first pen that I want to show is this thing. This is a transparent yellow black barrel blue section, still silver colored, still nib. This pen is a pen that is not officially anything. It's just a Cavex Sport from those Cavex Sports that uh, Caveco takes to pen shows and to exhibits and uh, they have those pens there and people that could go, I think it happened in, the, in some Nuremberg event and people could go there and pick parts from large bowls and make, assemble their own pens with mixed colors. Uh, I could not be there and one time I asked uh, if they could send me one and the and Sebastian Gutwerlet, the, the son of the CEO, um, he asked me what I wanted and I said just do it randomly and he made this pen randomly to me so he picked parts and made this pen. So this is an interesting piece for me but it's not real real uh, really a real thing the next pen is the Caveco brass sport this pen was never polished since I got it and so it is a little bit um, let me change here the light just a little bit it is a little bit uh, as some patina now I like this kind of oxidation it's nice it has a steel nib and the regular feed. It is a very nice pen. I like the weight of it. It is. It feels really nice uh, in the hand. So it's it's really nice. And this is one of the metal Cavex sports. The other one that I have is the Caveco steel sport, which is a nice one. I like this one better than the brass sport. 
it has Gavec Steel Sport Germany engraved there on one facet. It has chrome trim and it is a very nice pen. I like how you see the machining, how you see the scratches of the cap when it is completely kept. I, I really enjoy the way this pen looks almost like a tool. Just for uh, clarification, I'm using, I'm collecting Caveco pens from Caveco, from the current Caveco administration. And this means that I'm collecting the modern Caveco pens from 1996 until now, not the previous ones. Although I have some older Caveco pens in my collection, but these are just the current, uh, from the current administration. Now, I want to go to this series. This is a series that I don't think is that popular, which is the AC Sport. The AC Sport is a collection that is available with uh, aluminium barrel and barrel and cap and section and it has this insert of carbon fiber there, carbon fiber on the cap also on alternate facets and this one has black nib and black uh, medallion on top although the engraving is white. This is the AC Sport Orange so bright orange with black trim there is the AC Sport Green the same thing uh, green with black trim then the AC Sport Red and the AC Sport Red is like this, has black uh, medallion on top and here it has, when you buy this pen, it has a silver colored steel nib, not the black coated. I got this extra black nib to put here because I think it made more sense. Why is this pen sold with a silver colored nib. I'm not sure. My theory is that the red version with the black trim was released before they had black nibs. So they went with the silver colored nib and then they remain like this. As far as I know, the green and the orange are not available anymore. There were, they were in the 20, 2020s uh, catalog, but they are not on their online store right now. They may be out of stock or they may be discontinued. This is something that I need to confirm. There are lots of information that I need to confirm, so I'll not go too deeply into the history of each uh, variation because I'm afraid of saying something that is not correct and it's not my intention to do that. There are some stuff that I want to, cor to be sure of and I will put most of this information on my website Caveco Collection. Here, this is the AC Sport Black, the same pen but with silver trim and, of course, the silver colored steel nib. This is a beautiful one. Like this one, these two are still on the stores, the red and the black, and then there are these two other that were discontinued when those two were introduced. I'm not sure now of the dates, I will not dive into that now, but I have that written somewhere. This one, the silver, which is almost like a white. Uh, I know there can be white, there can't be white uh, uh, aluminium, but uh, it is more on the white than on the silver. It has silver medallion. This one is the champagne, which is a very nice color with black trim, but with a steel nib. So interesting variations. Now I want to jump one pen and go to the next category which is the Cavec AL Sport. Cavec AL Sport are Cavec Sports that are made of aluminium. There are some solid color and there are and some others that have this variation. This is the stone washed black this is the stone washed blue. This pen, I used it so much, so much as an everyday carry that nowadays, uh, if I carry it in my pocket, it 
starts to unscrew the cap on itself because it's very used. So these pens have a treatment, this is kind of a regular blue and a regular black, you'll see them in a moment, um, that have a kind of a stone washed process like uh, uh, jeans and so they, have, they get these used uh, looks, which is quite nice because if you are one of those persons that are uh, one of those people that are afraid of scratching your brand new pen and you don't want to use them because of that this is a nice way to go into them because they are already pre-worn so they made the, red, the blue and the black once I asked Caveco why don't you do a red one because I thought the red version give me a second here the red version would go perfectly with this little thing. I got this uh, Victorinox knife, this Alox, uh, which is made of aluminium also, in the flea market. It is used and so you can see it has kind of a stone washed look to it and I thought it would be so nice to have a red AL Sport to match this. After a while I talked with them and they said they wouldn't do it and one day Kavek told me we are going to, to send you a prototype we didn't do the prototype with the red AL Sport but we did it with the red AC Sport this is not for sale, it will not be available anywhere we just made this as a test like a prototype and it is for you so thank you so much for having this and you can see it this is it this one has I don't know if it has a, a chrome medallion or if the black paint was taken out because of the stone wash but I think it never had the black so it is fun to have this version but it is it is a prototype it's not available and they decided not to do the red version and why did they do it the AC Sport, I'm not sure again, I guess because they didn't have a red version of AL Sport being currently produced. So they went for the AC Sport to show that. Now, I will do this many times because I'm not organized and we'll go back and forth. I will go to the second case and then we'll come back to this one. So, let me open the second case which actually is the third case and let me see if I can I'm having a problem here with the my tripod with the extra light let me see okay I can do it like this so here we have some other pens now Kavek has a red version this is the deep red version and I think this deep red version would look great with this stone washed look this is my opinion but they decided not to do it and I think that the stone washed is not that popular I think it's great because I'm always afraid of scratching the pants to take everywhere and so this is quite a very good um, Ace AL Sport to get because if it gets scratched there's no problem because it is already pre-scratched from factory. Now, uh, let's go here and I want to show you the several AL sports that are available. One, I would say this is the basic one which is the AL Sport Silver it has just a silver color it is uh, anodized aluminium it has very smooth and kind of a satin finish it has the regular Caveco um, fit and nib I like the color it says Caveco AL Sport Germany now, I brought this pen because I just wanted to compare it. Sorry, I, I told you this is, this is going to take a long time and it's going to be a mess. But 
Here I have the AC Sport in silver and I don't know if this is because this is a satin version, this is a frosted one. This one looks much whiter than the AC Sport silver. The, a, the AL Sport Silver, sorry. The AL Sport Silver is currently still available. Now, I have another version, which I don't know if it was a regular produ production or a prototype. I've, I've seen it announced as a prototype. I was lucky to get this one on eBay some time ago. It says Kavec AL Sport. The fun thing is that the engraving is a little different. The, I'm not sure if you can see it, the AL Sport is a little bigger, the letters are bigger on this one, and it doesn't say Germany. Basically, it's the same kind of pen, but this one has like a, a chiseled effect on alternate facets with two lines. This one was quite inexpensive because the nib was bent. I needed to uh, straight the nib and you can see this is kind of a, an older version of the nib with no breather hole, Caveco logo there. The feed is a different kind of feed. By the way, I love this kind of feed because I think it's very wet and it has there the size of the nib on the side. So this one has two facets there and uh, to not two facets, two lines engraved. And I know that there was at one point um, a version with four facets because I've seen photos of it online, but I don't have it. So there is at least one with four lines, four wavy lines in each alternate facet. Then we have the fun one, which is this, the Caveco AL Sport Raw, which is raw aluminium that gets scratched very easy, easily and gets this kind of patina, which is a different patina than copper or bronze or brass or something like that. I said metals that Caveco didn't make yet. And you can see it gets scratched very easily. It is a kind of a regular edition, but with a different uh, feel to it. It's interesting, uh, I like the feel of the raw aluminium and because it scratched so easily it is impossible not to get it scratched. So you can use it like the AL Sport stone washed because you, it is made to, it is made not to last in a perfect condition. So I have enjoyed this one. If you want to see how this looks when it's new, it's like this very shiny almost mirror finish this one is an al sport uh, edition that was made for nomos glasshutte which is a, a watch luxury watch brand that had some pens to give to their customers and they sell them on the website and they were kind enough to send me this pen for my collection the interesting thing is that this one is completely new, this one is used and this one has the traditional Caveco logo, this one has a different medallion that says only Nomos Glass Hutter, which is the name of the, the watches, which is the watch brand, which is fun. Then we have the AL Sport Anthracite, which is kind of a grey silverish color, much darker than this one, as you can easily see, I guess. The lighting condition is not easy to, to, to do. This one is a strange one from Bungo Box in Japan, and this is the edition called June Bright Something Blue, and it is a, a very strange greenish blue uh, pen, AL Sport, also with regular nib and feed. It was available in gold trim and chrome trim and to make a deal, a nice deal on these pens, I, on another Kavec that I didn't have and I needed to have, I had to include this on the, on the, on the, on the 
trade and sell to get these to get the other pen and I so I sold the gold version of the June Bright something blue. The next pen I want to show you it is more um, regular. By the way, this one doesn't say Taveco Sport anywhere, just the, the June Bright something blue. This one is a, the Taveco AL Sport Paladin Evergreen. It is a special edition for the Benelux, so Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg. And it is the kind of regular modern pen with a nice green color, but it has on the opposite facet to the Quebec AL Sport Germany, it says Paladin Evergreen in a very different font. So this is something that many users don't like. Then we have the AL Sport Light Blue, which is really, really a light blue that you cannot easily understand as a blue. This was a regular pen that I think it was just discontinued. Just for you to check, I will put here the AL Sport Silver, and you can see this one is a little bluer, not much, and this was a previous version, which is very beautiful, I really like it as a matte finish and this is the AL Sport Blue. This was a regular edition, now it has been sold like a special for Greece, not because it is a special new edition, it's just because some distributor in Greece bought the leftover stock from Caveco and now they are selling them, the rest of them, in Greece. So this, you can still find this version on the stores and believe me, this is a very, very nice color. And now, uh, let's go to another pen that is on the greenish, bluish, something greyish, very hard to describe. And this is the Caveco AL Sport Petrol, also a Benelux edition. A very interesting one. This had chrome trim, steel, silver steel nib. Nothing special besides the color, regular Caveco L Sport engraving. Very beautiful pen, in my opinion. There was some uh, controversy about this pen because the, the photos that were released for pre-order of this pen were of a different, slightly different color from this one. Because you cannot really have exact the, the same exact color in a digital rendering of a pen than you get on the real metal. So there were some differences, some people were disappointed, some were really obsessed about it. I am the one I am a part of the ones that get obsessed about Caveco Sports. So I have one and I love it and I guess most people also love it because it sold out. And I also want to show you another pen that goes along with that, which is one of the uh, country exclusives. This one was from Taiwan, I think. I don't want to to say things that I'm not sure. And this is a Caveco AL Sport. The color is called Midnight Green. And this Midnight Green is really, 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 really similar to Petrol. So, my question is, and I cannot answer to, to, to you, they look different, yes, they look different. Are they the same or different colors? I don't know. Because one has a satin surface, the other one is a more matte surface. Just how they reflect light may provide a different idea of the color. I think they are different, but it may just be the light reflection. This one has a very simple uh, engraving, a blind engraving, so you will not see it easily, and I really like it. I think to have the pens there makes these all out of focus. The petrol has chrome trim, the midnight green has black trim that I also like a lot, and I have to say that I really like this kind of lined engraving that is not very common on Caveco sport pens. Now, we will jump to the black, and I will try to move this up a little bit, 
I cannot move it much. I need to do something with my second light tripod here to try to do this without throwing all into the floor. You don't imagine how my table is now. Um, this is the AL Sport Black, a very simple version with uh, white engraving on the cap, the silver logo on the top, the chrome, uh, the chrome logo, and the uh, regular silver colored steel nib. So this is a nice version, very simple Quebec AL Sport that is already, that is uh, still available and at one point I made this as a special run, I'm not sure if this is still available or not. And this is the Kavec AL Sport Night Edition, which is a black AL Sport, like this one, but it is more black. And why? It is more black because it has the black medallion on top of the cap. It has the engraving that says Kavec AL Sport, where is that? cannot see it, but believe me, it's there because I know it's there. But it is, it's there, but it's not kind of a blind engraving because it is flat. It's like it was filled with black ink over the black barrel and it has a black nib and black feed, obviously. So very, very beautiful black pen, but it is one of the, this is one of the, the Kavec sports that I would be more afraid of using because any scratch would kill um, the looks of the pen. Then we'll go to the three red Kavec AEL Sport pens. One is the deep red with chrome trim, regular nib, silver color, silver color, so regular one. This can be this is available. Then we have this one, which is uh, from a few years ago, the China Red, which has the blind engraving, so different engraving, the gold plated steel nib, and it has the gold colored logo on top of the pen. It is a different shade of red. I'm not sure if you can really tell it here on the video but it is a different shade of red and there is also this one which was a version for Spain that has a very satin finish different one and it has a little bit more magenta color so it is a different little 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 bit different it also has the silver colored nib and this one has a different feed Another thing that you can see uh, that makes a difference between the, let me try to do this, the regular and the, the Spanish older edition is that this one has much smaller threads than the current version. And just to show you, I want to bring here the Caveco AC Sport Red again. I know I showed you this before just to see we have here four different shades of red so this is quite fun if you just want a red pen this will make no difference because when you look at one of those pens in separate way you will not be able to tell if one is more uh, if it's red, red or pink or more red or more pink or magenta you can tell it but when you have them all together, you can notice that. This is the Kavec AEL Sport Ackerman Orange. This is the, the recent edition for exclusive for the Ackerman in Amsterdam store. They sent me this pen for review. This one has ink in it. And so this is here, but it's not here. It is in use currently, but I had to show it to you. I have, I'm having some trouble focusing. Let me move the light a little bit here. So black nib and black medallion and it has 
Café AL Sport Germany engraved blind engraving on one facet and on the opposite facet it says Ackerman Orange Amsterdam. Then you have the Caveco AL Sport Gold, which is an interesting version. It's kind of the same. It has, interestingly, it has chrome trim, although it is uh, gold colored. It is kind of a light gold. This is it how it compares with the AL Sport Silver, and. Because this has this kind of color, I just want to bring here the AC Sport Champagne and you can see they are a little different colors. They may look the same if you look at them separately, but when you look them together, we put them here, you will see that the shades are different. Now, we will go to some other We'll go to, to the shades of uh, rose or pink. We have the rose gold, which is a satin one with chrome trim, silver nib. So this is current edition, I guess. And this is how it compares with the gold version, so really gold. And we have here a special edition for Japan, which is called AL Sport Sakura Lucent, also a different kind of uh, font, also chrome trim with the silver steel nib, and let me just put it here to compare the rose gold, the gold, rose gold, and Sakura Lucent, and you can see that. This has a much warmer in the middle color than the pink Sakura Lucent. We also have another very nice color in my opinion, which is this. And this is the... this one has two engravings. One is here. Uh, It has a brand, and here it says, having trouble focusing, Caveco and Hello Kitty. And it has the, that little bow that is on the head of Hello Kitty. Gold trim and regular feed. Okay, this one has ink inside also, so I have pink ink in my fingers now. And the nib, look at it it has the Hello Kitty face. So, how cute is this? This is different shade from the, from the Sakura Lucent, although one is matte finish and this one is a satin finish. But when we're talking about the matte finish Hello Kitty, I want to show you this one, which is the Art Sport Lilac, which is a very, very beautiful color. I like and it is more on the purple side from the Hello Kitty. And this year Caveco released the new collection called Caveco Collection, which is a series of collectible pens that are available for one year and they are like kind of collectible. So this one has gold trim also, this is clearly more purplish, it is called Vibrant Violet. I'm not sure of differences between violet, lilac and purple, but this is really more violet and it has a different addition to it, which is, the it doesn't say Caveco AL Sport, it says just Caveco Collection, like another one that I'm going to show you a little bit later, and it has gold trim, but also the engraving of Caveco Collection on the cap. It may not look like, but it is gold colored, and then it has the regular nib and feed, and this one is inked also. And now that we are done with the AL Sport side of this pen case, let's go back to this one to show you the last two that I have. This one is the Caveco AL Sport 
Explorer, another Benelux exclusive with black trim, like a military color, not really olive green, but a very dark tan, which is nice. And finally, uh, an American USA exclusive, the Golden Espresso. It says Caveco AL Sport there, with a blind engraving, which is something that I like. And then yet another different font that says in gold, Golden, Ex Golden Espresso, and it has gold trim and the gold plated nib. So this is really also a recent edition, you can still find it. This one is very hard to find. And now the first or the fourth case is done. So I'm not sure how much time we have of video right now, but we have a lot of time and only one case of four is completely done and it is the smallest because not the smallest but the case with less pens. So let's go back here and let me show you the the pens that are of a current collection that I think it is more recent regular collection of which is the Frosted Sport. And the Frosted Sport are these little pens with nice bright colors and that are very translucent. These are the Frosted Sport. It's frosted because it has a frosted look, not a transparent one. They have same color on barrel, section and cap. They say Caveco Sport and they have silver trim with the regular steel nib and feed. So, we have several colors on this collection. This is the, the Frosted Sport Sweet Banana, the Frosted Sport Soft Mandarin. Some of them I will go through them more quickly because otherwise I will be here speaking all night. We have the Frosted Sport Lime. This color is amazing. I, I, my favorite pen color is yellow, but this green is amazing. This is the Frosted Sport. I, sometimes I get, I need to check this because I can't remember all the names. This is the Light Blueberry. The Sweet, no, Natural Coconut, which is very nice translucent white. I really like it. And finally, the Frosted Sport Blush Pitaya, which is a nice pink. In my opinion, there is missing, there's not missing, the collection is made like this, but in my opinion, I think there would, there would be room for um, a purple collect, uh, pen on this Frosted Sport collection. So, this is one of the most recent. Now we'll go to one of the kind of the oldest still available lines of Caveco and it is the Caveco Classic Sport and the Classic Sport has many colors and many special editions. Let's start, okay, but I was missing one. There is this one that was released I think last year, it is an American, uh, United States of America exclusive and it is called, um, sorry, Sport, Caveco Sport Black Crystal and you have the, it is the only pen that I know of Caveco with black engraving there, black imprint, so it says Caveco Sport in black, black trim, fully transparent with black nib. So is this nice? Yes, it does look very nice. I really think it is a nice pen. This one has these uh, push-type converter because I think it looks great inside this pen. So this is the crystal and the black crystal and you can see it's here on the opposite facet of Caveco Sport. It says Cave um, black crystal with a diamond on the middle. So as I was telling before I remind, remembered of the black crystal Let's go to the black pens. These are the Caveco Sport, um, Classic Sport Black. Classic Sport pens are pens that have black, uh, not black, have 
when usually when single color the barrel section and the cap and they have gold trims so gold plated nib and uh, gold plated medallion on top regular nib focus please regular nib and regular feed so i have this is the caveco classic sport black this is classic sport black chess because it has some chess engraving on alternate facets of the cap the rest is regular like the the black and then we have the classic sport black guilloche which has this kind of guilloche or guilloche imprint engraving on the cap that reminds us of the vintage caveco sports the same kind of nib and as far as i know this three can still be found on the regular line of Caveco. Now we'll go to the blue. The most recent edition in blue is this, and this is the Caveco Classic Sport Navy. And this Navy came, it's regular, as I told you, gold trim. This Navy came to replace the Caveco Classic Sport Blue that was available it is the same kind of pen this one has a, an older type of feed but you could find them with the, the regular feed i guess so just small differences but the colors are different so if you are looking for the blue caveco sport yes the navy is different from the blue you can see here they are different shades and there was a variation of the blue that was the chess i know it looks a little bit purplish here on the camera but you can see it has the chess pattern like the black that i showed you and i recently acquired this one which is even a different shade of blue which is an older edition that was made for a brand i think that would be called smart ink and this has a different shade of blue and it has a very interesting thing all cavecs have the imprint this way with the cap facing right and this one has the imprint in the other direction so with the cap facing left and the color is slightly different and it has the older style of nib and an older style of feed another one yes there were many caveco feeds throughout the years and nibs also you saw that this nib is a little different now we'll go for some special for two special editions that came together in china a few years ago this one is the classic sport retro blue which is a kind of nice factory blue it's very hard to say it reminds me some uh, machinery of the 50s or 60s and this is called industrial green which has the same kind of idea and this reminds me also some machinery or some um, boats and something related to to ships and ports I'm, it's very hard to, to to say what i mean but so this is the retro blue this is the industrial green they are not clearly green and clearly blue uh, but that's what they are this one uh, sorry i can do this now the green one um, is also the same color as far as i know as a version from the australian store called milligram that has a pen called sage green i think it's same color with silver trim but the same color and it has engraved milligram i don't have that pen so if everyone if anyone has please let me know there is another pen that of the ones that i showed you here that i don't have which is the uh, sterling sport because it is too expensive made of silver i hope someday i can get one at least for a review i don't have it also now we have a pair of burgundy pens this is the caveco 
classic sport burgundy or bordeaux also i've seen it called both ways and you can see regular feed regular nib a this is a classic sport and then we have this classic sport so obviously same kind of gold trim but this was a special edition for spain from a couple of years ago so you can see they have different okay they have the same kind of nibs but they have different feeds and they this one has the guilloche imprint both on the how can i show it to you both on the barrel and on the cap on alternate facets like the black version that i showed you so there are two bordeaux at least at, uh, actually there are three and i will show you the third one in a moment because it is on the skyline sport uh, side of the collection now we'll jump into the green and we have the classic sport green this is still available this is a very beautiful strong dark green gold trim nothing special uh, different from the others but there is also this one this is the caveco sport and this is kind of a cool branding for Heldbergs, which is a store on um, Germany that had this pen engraved specially by Kavec for their store. So I could get my hands on one, which is nice, but they are the same pen overall. Then we have the Caveco Classic Sport Red, which is really kind of a bright red, reminds me of the the red of uh, some lego bricks we have the caveco sport sunset which was an edition by the, the dutch store fontoplumo it has a, a nice rich yellow warm yellow and it has gold trim that's why it is a classic sport it's called sunset also from Fontoplumo, this is the classic sport coral by Fontoplumo. You can see in this one we have Caveco Sport. This side it says coral by Fontoplumo. It has very nice coral color and then it has the same. Can I show it to you? Focusing problems. It has the guilloche pattern engraved. Then we have some hot drink <laughs> colored this is the chocolate brown or the tabac because it also it was also made for a stores called tabac for a chain of stores it has different feet it is an older pen it was kind of a limited edition dark brown let me pick them up it's easier then we have the mocha which was an exclusive for fontoplumo this one is a strange one because it was a exclusive for fontoplumo called mocha and at the same time an exclusive for the same store as i told you the milligram with the former name which was note maker i think from australia and in that store it was called caramel and finally one of the pens that i re recently found that existed that is the cappuccino which has this nice color i didn't know this pen existed um, it has gold trim classic sport cappuccino i thought cappuccino was the same color as the macchiato but it is not so this is the the classic sport uh, case a part of it at least let me put this here aside and let me get the case number two yes we have still a lot of pens to go through i told you this would be very long not my fault it's the fault is my is of my cafe edition addiction so sorry i have to to reach some other pens there let me just show you this is the cappuccino and this is the color of the macchiato that i will just show you to see they are really really different shades i just wanted to show you that but this one is skyline sport but before of that there was that macchiato that i showed you at 
and at one point the German store most wanted pens created an exclusive pen which was this this is kind of a mix of colors this is the Caveco Sport also in macchiato but it is called dark macchiato so it has black barrel black section and it has let me focus an older style of nib that has the M in cursive inside a circle I don't know if you can see and the old type of feet so it has gold trim and you can see that this cappuccino is diff this cappuccino is different from the macchiato and there is also this version from Asia I'm not sure where it was from modern nib modern feet and it is called creme or coffee cream and you can see they are all different shades this is much light it almost looks like white but it is not because you have here the Caveco Sport white and you can Caveco Classic Sport white and you can see it's really white so let me put this back here and let me take just I'm sorry I just need to take this case here the second one because I don't the, the third because I don't think I will need it anymore and let's continue on the which case is this the second I guess okay uh, so we were on the white after the white we have the Caveco Sport transparent turquoise transparent in turquoise from gold spot pens so this pen has a chrome trim and a silver colored nib so actually this shouldn't be here because we're talking about gold colored trim so sorry about that this is a skyline sport so out of place sorry about that it happens um, this is the Kavec from this year the well, how it is called the sport transparent violet by Galen leather which has gold trim it says Kavec sport in one side Galen leather in the other side it is transparent not kind of frosted it's really a translucent pen very nice by the way I want to say that this Skyline Sport by Gold Spot only says Kavec Sport not Gold Spot but I have here this is the another edition uh, more, more recent this is the classics uh, they call it Kavec Sport transparent in classic blue and it is also a transparent blue but it is much darker much harder to see but I think you can see that it is transparent and it has gold trim as usually and it says in the opposite facet of Caveco Sport it says gold spot because now Caveco does that on the brands and they did it on Galen Leather and also on Galen Leather Cognac the classic sport Cognac which is kind of a a mythical pen that Galen Leather made again and it made again because it had been made before by a brand called Seitz Koisnacht I'm not sure how to spell it it is a store in Germany that made this special edition this one has no engravings other than Kavec Sport they have the exact same color but this one is Galen Leather so this is the second version this is the first version they have the same nibs and feed so no difference there but it's interesting to have them at one point and the Kavec once told me that the Kavec pens all official Kavec pens have only one color the mixed parts are not really official except for the Ice Sport series but we'll talk about that so they, they say that this dark macchiato is not really an official color released by Caveco but this store the site Kreuznacht made uh, I think they had spare pieces and they made two variations they call this cognac variation 2 which has just clear 
section and barrel but a cognac cap and they used also the spare parts to make the variation one which has the cognac barrel the transparent section and transparent cap and as this one there is also a classic sport transparent which is fully transparent like that black crystal but black crystal have black trim this one has gold trim so this is it very nice pen interesting i like the fully transparent design then we have the caveco let me bring this down again we have the caveco skyline sport black and what is the skyline the skyline is a pen that has all the same color both in barrel section this one has a stub nib very big stub nib as you may see so the the, the caveco skyline sport is a pen that is black uh, not black sorry one single color but it has chrome trim so still nib with regular color and chrome trim and chrome engraving there there was also a version of the caveco skyline sport black but for nomos glass hooter as i showed you it has nomos glass hooter in two adjacent uh, facets and opposite two adjacent facets it has the same engraving the logo on the top of the cap is the regular caveco logo not the the one that you saw on the nomos glass hooter uh, Caveco AL Sport Raw and here you have a Nomos Glass Hooter Caveco Skyline Sport Burgundy the same color as the classic Burgundy but with silver trim now we will go again into the territory or of hard to find stuff which are these two this one is the caveco skyline sport metallic violet which is a violet pen uh, with caveco sport chrome trim from some years ago on the united states and the pen has kind of this metallic color but it is plastic but with a metallic color but it is the whole color it's not a lacquered with a metallic color there was also for the united states this pen which is not the blue this is the caveco skyline sport purple and recently they made a, a greece exclusive which is this caveco skyline sport agent blue that as far as i can understand is the same as the Cavex Sport Blue, so the, the most regular blue, and when we compare them, I hope you can see that this one is blue and this one is purple. But when you look at this like alone, it looks blue. It's not. So this is very hard to identify, even if you see one on eBay, sometimes it's hard to know what color it really is because it's really hard to tell. Then we go to another Asian exclusive. This is the Skyline Sport Ocean Blue, which is very interesting uh, blue kind of dull color that I like. Then we go to the Cavec Skyline Sport uh, Gray, which is a nice, interesting, regular color that I think is still available. This one so same chrome trim then we have the class the skyline sport granite which is a shade uh, it has a lighter shade the skyline sport pebble and the skyline sport cement so four shades of gray this one is regular these three are as far as i could understand kind of exclusives or pens to be used as a promotion stuff uh, in asia the cement pebble and granite have different names in different stores so here the lighter one is granite but i've seen it 
uh, not being the lightest color, uh, the granite was not the lightest color in some other stores. So the colors are the same, they just give it different names. What are their official names? I don't know. I'm saying the names from the store from where I bought them. Now, we go for a Skyline Sport, also from China. This is a beautiful one, I like it, and it's called Serenity Blue. It is a very nice blue that reminds us a little bit of this ocean blue, but much, much lighter. Then we go to one of the nice pens that Kaveco made, which were part of this uh, 2020, 2021 uh, release of the Caveco collection. I showed you the one that was an AL Sport. This one is just a plastic Caveco Sport and it is called Caveco Collection and this one is called uh, Light Lavender. The, the other one was Vibrant Violet. So, very interesting pen. And let me just tell you a secret. There is another one being released very, very, very soon. So, be aware. Um, different color. So, this is the Kavec collection, which is very nice. Here, you have something that happened that is very interesting. When Kavec released this Kavec collection, by mistake, some pens had the cap engraved as Kavec Sport instead of Kavec collection. So, they have the same color, the same light. Lavender, but one has the wrong imprint. Kavec had a lot of trouble and work to try to recall the, the, the caps and to avoid, but many were already sold. But I don't think that really is a problem because I think both are highly collectible and maybe the mistaken one is even more collectible than the regular one. At least I, I had to search for that and have to get one before they disappeared from the market. Now, we'll go for a series of blue pens, light blues, and I have the Skyline Purple Peacock, like regular Skyline, all the features, chrome trim, a special edition from China. I have here the Lagoon Blue, Skyline Sport Lagoon Blue, from Taiwan, I think. This one I got from Hong Kong and they sold it as a Lake Blue exclusive and really it has really just a different um, section. And then we have the regular edition. This is one that is really, really cute, which is a very light blue, which is mint. And we can say that this one called Lake Blue is just a Lagoon Blue with a mint uh, colored section. So you can see these colors are different. This one is the same as the, as the Lagoon Blue, but these two are different. The Peacock is darker and the Lagoon Blue is lighter. <sighs> Sorry. Lots of time talking because I'm recording this all in a row. Now, this is the Skyline Sport Fox, which is kind of, it's not red, it is kind of a terracotta color, which is interesting because I think terracotta is a color that makes sense in every brand. This is the Kavec Skyline Sport Pink. This is a regular edition of Kavec Skyline Sport. I'm not sure if it is still available. I'm not addressing that stuff in um, detail now. This is a very special pen to me. This is the Caveco Sport Collector's Edition in color, in coral. So this pen was the pen for our, created for our group on, it was not an exclusive pen because it was available everywhere, but it was created for our collector's group, collector's and user's group on Facebook. And it has the Caveco Sport, trying to show it, in a blind engraving in one facet and in the adjacent facet it has collector's edition. So I, I, was, I, I was negotiating this pen with Kavec, so this is very dear to me, very important. I really enjoy this pen, it's very special. 
Here, what we have, we have another choral by choral by Fontoplumo, also the same choral color with guilloche, but the same as the other the, that I showed you by Fontoplumo, with chrome trim, but it is different shade than the coral. So they are two coral the by Fontoplumo and the collector's edition. Two different shades of coral. Now we have the strawberry pink which is a version from China from a couple of years ago. A version from Spain called the Orangina which is a bright orange that looks a little yellowish on camera very nice color, you can still find it online and this is the Sunrise from Fontoplume which is the same pen, same color as the Sunset but the Sunset has, is a classic sport so it has gold, cream, gold trim the Sunrise is the same pen with chrome trim so it's called Sunrise okay. uh, I'm mixing things up a little bit but I guess I said the right Thing. Now we have the other that I showed you before, the macchiato, which has this kind of milk with coffee color. Then we have the rose quartz, which is a pink pen. It doesn't look like, but it is pink. And this is the white the Skyline Sport White. So when you compare Skyline Sport White with this, you can understand this one is pink. Now you think, but that's the same as the Light Lavender. No, it's not. So you can see. But now when I show this, this looks like a little bluer, but it's not because this is the mint. So you can see all very bright, uh, light colors, but they are not the same. Now let me put this back in place otherwise this will be more even more chaotic than it is we are almost reaching the end of this case now another caveco sport transparent in classic blue by gold spot another one but this one has go uh, chrome trim and then we go to the the ice sport uh, collection but recently caveco the ice sport collection is this caveco uh, discontinued the ice sport and introduced the frosted sport as a replacement but when they did that they also created this pen which is kind of the ice sport yellow the same color scheme and it has just this very fat nib and comes with uh, fluorescent uh, cartridges so they call this glow marker and this is currently available but this pen is actually the same pen as the Kavec Ice Sport Yellow which has chrome trim chrome uh, steel nibs some have the older um, feeds because this is an older uh, edition of Caveco and they have the section the same color of the cap and the barrel is transparent people love these pens to eyedropper with different inks because you can't see the inks there so they were made in yellow in black which is actually gray in blue this one doesn't have the Caveco Sport uh, in silver anymore because this was the first Caveco Sport ever I got and I ever got and so it is very worn this is the green this was discontinued longer for a longer time I like these these ones have the old no this one doesn't have the old nib sorry so but they, this one has the regular feet but I think it's the blue it has this old feet that I like and this old nib with the M in cursive inside the circle and this was also available besides green also available in red, pink and orange and so 
this is the end of case number two. Let's go to case number one. And following this philosophy that I'm using, this case number one is the last one. And let's see what we have here. Another 48 pens. I know. Oops. Upside down. Okay. And I guess this may be the most interesting one. The most interesting, but maybe the most difficult to find if you are collecting them. So, first, there are three pens here from the year 2000 from an exclusive edition they made for Microsoft. And they were the same blue as the Ice Sport and the same orange as the Ice Sport, but in this case, all the pen has the same color. The cap uh, section and barrel all the same color and they have the older nib and an older style of feed. They were available in these three colors. Orange, blue and transparent. All of them are translucent. Very nice, interesting, very rare to find and they are very, very expensive. Then we have this pen that is made of black resin and this is a pen that I really like. This is the Caveco Sport Lux, which is a very interesting one because it has a gold ring there, it has a weight, a brass weight inside this part of the pen and it has an integral clip that you cannot remove and it has a nice nib. I think this is a very interesting pen. It is heavier, made of acrylic with I, I think this pen is very beautiful. In my opinion, this could be uh, an edition that could come out in several colors each year because I really like it. Or they could be adapted for a piston filler, maybe by Caveco. They will make they will make piston fillers uh, in 2022. They officially announced it, it, and this could be a nice piston filler because all the shape goes into that, and they have this part that could be the piston knob. Now, we'll go into the Caveco Art Sport. I'm trying to speed a little bit because this video is getting long and I am I'm getting out of space on my phone and I don't want to stop this, transfer the files and start again. So I want to do all this. We have here the Caveco Art Sport. Here I have the Caveco Art Sport Generation 3. From Generation 3 we have several pens. This is the coral red, which is kind of a plain uh, color. It has black medallion on top and it has silver nib. It is made of turned resin, so these are all made of turned resin, heavier than those that are ABS plastic. This is the metallic green, beautiful, beautiful color. They have this engraved Caveco Art Sport Germany, as you may see. This is the dark blue and this is the real blue, both from Generation 3. Also from Generation 3, one of the most stunning Caveco art sports ever, this one that is called Pearl Orange and it has gold trim and it has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful acrylic. Another one that is interesting is this Tiger Eye. I think this color scheme is quite well known, but it is beautiful and it has a sparkle in the yellow or in the gold. Then we have the marble red, which is marble red and black. All the pen has the same color, section, barrel and cap, gold trim. Some of those are available both with gold trim or silver trim. And this is the last Kavec Art Sport Generation 3 I have. Actually, it was the first and this is called Marble Green and Yellow and this is very, very hard to find. Now, we go to the Caveco uh, and I want to say that I'm still missing three. The Milk and Coffee, the Violet or Purple and the Metallic Turquoise. So, lots of them, they are very expensive. 
Then we go to generation 2, they have names of stones. This one is granite, so like this. This is a beautiful one, this is the lapis, which is very similar to the metallic green that I just showed you of generation 3. They have this kind of regular nibs and feeds. This is the rosette, which is very plain, and it has silver imprint there, which is strange, but no Germany, so just Kavec Art Sport, which is strange. This one is the Amacitrine, which is a beautiful yellow chrome trim. This one has gold trim, very, very rare pen. This is the Umbar, so if you see one, get it. Another really rare one is this one. This is the Amethyst, which is a beautiful, beautiful pen. And we still have the Aksha here, which is this crazy pattern. I think this one is very nice. All the patterns don't align, which is some kind of nice for some people, annoying for some other. And this is the alabaster, that really looks like alabaster. White, like transparent ice, very beautiful, with gold trim. And we'll go now to the Caveco Art Sport Generation 1. This is the Samba, which has a crazy uh, design of colors, color scheme, and it has a different nib, as you can see, another one with no breather hole. I have the Mambo, these have names of musics, which is very beautiful, and this was my first gold nibbed Cavex Sport, you can see there, 14k. Very beautiful nib. Different feed from every other feed. Very beautiful pen. I have also the Samba chrome trim, but gold colored nib because it is a gold nib. I don't think by that time they had gold nibs in uh, rhodium plated. And finally the blues, which is a beautiful, amazing with chrome trim steel nib you can see the older kind of nib and you can see the kind of brass insert that is on the Caveco Sport looks and also in the Caveco Sport from Art Sport from generation 1 to give it some extra weight so this generation 1 generation 2 is complete from generation 3 I'm still missing 3 pens 2 I will get when the purple is not available anywhere, so if you have one that you want to sell or something, please let me know. Now, I found in an old um, an old leaflet from Caveco that was provided for me from by Caveco for to to scan uh, the colors of these, which is called um, Bunt Sport, at least they call it uh, for the pencil collection, but I think the pencil and the fountain pens have the same name. So this is the Bunt Sport, this is the red, they have um, chrome trim, as you can see, the older nib and the older feet, and this is Bunt Sport Red, Bunt Sport Red, Bunt Sport Green, Bunt Sport Blue, Bunt Sport Yellow. The red is called red, the blue is called blue. The green is sometimes called soap green and the yellow is sometimes called cab yellow. It was also sold as a special edition for Spain, not sure. This one is the only one that has this nib without breather hole. Now, we go to another older series, which is this Lacquered series, that has the, characteristic, the characteristics of these pens is that they are made of plastic, but with a coating, like a metallic lacquered coating, that will wear out if you use the pens a lot. Older style of nib, older style of fit, and the pens are... Uh, lighter plastic, uh, it's not as good as this one, and they have 
one color for the cap, one color, the same color for the barrel, and all have silver sections. So they were made in green, oops, green metallic, green metallic, blue metallic, red and metallic silver, and the metallic silver is the only one that is very coherent because all the pen is of the same silver color. Now, we have two collections that are very related. This is the Sport Titan, which has some metal lacquered plastic caps, but with a frosted, with a matte design. They have chrome trim, and you can see this blue is transparent and has a guilloche uh, pattern. This one is the same pen, but it is black, it's not transparent, and it has black uh, guilloche pattern. This is the Titan Sport, or the Sport Titan in blue and black. And then you have the same pen, exactly. Transparent, same thing, just different cap. This one is shiny, also available in black and blue, and this is called the Galvano Sport Black and the Galvano Sport Blue. And let's go for the final ones. And I'm really getting out of space on my phone. At some point, Kavec when it was re-released, they needed to have a distribution way into the market, so they associated with Diplomat. So there were a series of Caveco by Diplomat. The blue and the green, so they have gold trim, they had guilloche patterns and Kavec sport by Diplomat. Only the blue and black had guilloche uh, pattern. They have these older nib, older feet, and by Diplomat engraved there. The blue, the black, there was the green, there was also the, another type of green, another type of blue, a yellow, a red, and a transparent. And I recently think I saw a white one. Not sure. I saw it as a pencil. I wonder if it was also released as a fountain pen. Now we go for some unnamed pens. This one is something with chrome trim, Kavec Sport engraving, all quite normal, old nib, old feed, but it has this interesting grey speckled pattern. So what's the name of this pen? I'm not sure. I saw one of those first on our Facebook group, then I saw one for sale and I bought that one. This one is a Ranger Sport. Kavec at some point released uh, this collection called uh, Ranger Yacht and uh, I miss Trekking Sport. Three different colors. I only have the Ranger which has this very nice dark olive color. I hope they will bring this color back. The, it has the kind of a sheriff star there, the ranger star, and an interesting feature, the nib is a Schmidt nib, not the regular Caveco nib. Then, I have two pens that are interesting because they have a kind of an imprint there that I never saw before. Uh, they have this old style of nib, old style of uh, feet, the plain, the section and the barrel are plain. This one has the same color as this Bunt Sport Green, but it has this printing in alternate facets. This one has also some printing in alternate facets, which is just a silver pattern in a silver colored pen. What is the name of these pens? I'm not sure. None of them has Caveco Sport. So I wonder if they are regular editions or just experiments. I know this was available as a pen, ballpoint pen and a fountain pen, ballpoint pen and a fountain pen. This one I have the ballpoint pen and I saw a ballpoint pen of this kind with the flag of the United States of America. So I think that's my theory. There is also at least one fountain pen with the imprints of the flag of the USA in alternate facets. And finally, 
we will end this long video with three, uh, four prototypes. Blue, green, gold and purple. These look nice, actually. And they have this kind of just grey barrel and section, old style of nib, old style of feet. They have the medallion there as a chrome and no Caveco Sport engraving on the caps. So I asked uh, the CEO of Caveco if those were real pens and or if I bought something fake and he told me that yes, they were prototypes because they were testing this kind of uh, metallic uh, lacquering to the pens but it failed a lot it flaked out, it was not of good quality, so didn't advance. So these were prototypes and he didn't even know how these came out of the factory and they were available for me to buy. <laughs> but they were and I'm quite lucky. So, this is all my Caveco Sport collection, my recent Caveco Sport collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this video is just for Caveco, collect uh, Caveco Sport collectors fans and so I have those here. I will have, I have four Kavec pens, four Kavec Sport pens coming in my way. The three from the, the how it's called, the royalty, elite royalty, the, the three pens from the United States exclusive and there is another art sport that I'm getting. So this video in a week will be out of date again. Maybe I'll do it again next year just to show off if you like it. If you don't, please let me know. I know this was long. I hope at least Kavec fans enjoyed it. Don't forget to check my website Kavec Madness on uh, Google for it or check the description below. And don't forget to join the Kavec Collectors and Users group on Facebook. If you liked, please don't forget to like, subscribe the channel and we will meet again soon. Now, I guess I need some sleep. Bye.